Hello guys, welcome to Everything Metallurgy and welcome to day 84 of 100 days standard concepts and in this video we will discuss about the reagents that are used in froth rotation. So in the last video we have uh, discussed that there will be an ore pulp, right? What is an ore pulp? So ore pulp is a mixture of ore, water and some reagents also added into it. Now today in this video let's discuss about what are those reagents and what are the functions of different reagents that are used in froth rotation and before moving on please uh, visit everythingmetallurgy.com if you want to enroll under us for one of the best video courses and live classes starting from this february and the early bird discounts are ending within a week so please do visit if you are interested to enroll and be a part of one of the best video courses for gate metallurgy aspirants now coming back to the video so we use uh, plenty of Reagents in froth rotation number one is called frother. Okay, what is frother? So frother is uh, basically we add small quantities to produce a stable froth. In the name itself, you can uh, you know see that in froth rotation, what we do, we agitate by blowing some air into it. So what happens? It will usually stable. Uh, it will usually it will form a froth and to stabilize the froth that means to make the formation of this froth easier you add some reagents which is called as frother and the best example used is pine oil okay if you add more pine oil that means more froth generation will be there the next important reagent that is used is called as collector what is collector so basically collector is something which modifies the surface property collector modifies the surface properties of my ore okay so that means what is uh, the surface property that we require to selectively separate out we want to make our ore particles hydrophobic okay we want to make my ore particles hydrophobic so what happens here by adding these collectors it is usually absorbed okay adsorbed what is adsorption adsorption is nothing but a surface phenomena okay let's say you have an ore particle adsorption is forming a layer on top of it okay this is my collector okay so on adsorption or uh, we also call chemisorption, we make the surface hydrophobic. So if the ore particle, this is my ore particle, right? If my, uh, what we say, our ore particles are actually hydrophobic, then it can be easily ascend with air into the froth, correct? That's what it is, right? The function or the principle of froth flotation, right? So, collector usually is adsorbed on the surface in order to make my ore particles hydrophobic so that there will be easy a selective flotation of the ore particles. Remember, there will be no chemical reactions involved here. Just that collector is just going and adsorbing on the surface. You get to see this. And here, if you talk about the examples, xanthates are some of the famous collectors. Okay, so we have potassium ethyl xanthate. Okay. Potassium ethyl xanthate is one of the important collector that is used. The next reagent is called as activator. Again, in the name itself, you can see it activates something. What it activates? It will activate the role of the collector that means it plays a supporting role or it supports the role of the collector okay so what this activator do it will try to support the role of a collector that means it will react with my collector okay this activator on if you add some activator which is usually CuSO4 copper sulfate solution okay so it will support the role of a collector by 
reacting with the collector okay so this activator will react with the collector and it generates a insoluble compound insoluble species is generated which is actually highly hydrophobic in nature okay so this is the role of activator and cu so4 is my example similarly you also have one more reagent which we call depressor or depressants okay so this is just opposite to the activator so it will try to reduce my you know surface activity it will make the surface inactive that means here hydrophobic character is not increased okay it is rather decreased by adding these uh, depressants why because it will stop the adsorption of the collector onto the particles and uh, best example here are cyanides okay cn and also you can use some starch solutions okay so frother collector activator and depressants these are the four important reagents used in froth rotation frother used for stable froth collector to modify the surface property and make hydrophobic character of the surface activator to support the role of a collector that means by reacting with collector and making an insoluble compound which is more hydrophobic and finally we have depressants which is just opposite to activator that means it will reduce the hydrophobic character it will stop my collector action okay so these are some important reasons used in froth rotation i hope you like this video if you like it please hit the like button and also share with all the gate metallurgy aspirants and also the early bird discount as i mentioned is ending within a week so please do visit everythingmetallurgy.com to avail one of the best video courses at the most affordable price in india so yeah that's it guys we'll meet you again in the next video thank you